Hey YouTube, uh, this is Vargas and I am back again preparing to share with you all a round of DVD updates. Uh, I picked up a couple of stuff through uh, this this set of stuff is stuff that I got through Movie Freak Bazaar. Uh, some stuff that I had uh, on storage with him at his spot. So uh, I needed to pick it up, organize it, and now uh, share it with you guys. But first, I'm a smidge pickish. I haven't eaten anything. But um, went to the U.S., went shopping, and it's been a while since uh, I've had one of these. So I decided, well, let's buy it and uh, do a video about it, because why not? I've been doing these uh, taste test videos with my kids, and uh, those are a lot of fun. So I decided, let's record this. And uh, I bought a Slim Jim, a big Slim Jim. And I will admit, it's been a while since I've had a Slim Jim. I think they're very tasty. Uh, I quite enjoy them. But again, it, it's been a, a good while since I've had one. And they had a smaller one with a slice of cheese. But I don't want that. I want the, the big old one. Uh, three size bigger, giant Slim Jim. It's a macho man! Yeah! Macho man! Ooh, yeah! I really like those those uh, old Slim Jim commercials. So, we're gonna open this up. No, oh, don't, don't break the packaging. I, I kinda really wanna save the packaging, so. Is it gonna let me save the packaging? I make it. There we go. Yeah, I can save the packaging. So, yeah. I'll be able to save the packaging. So, you just open it up, take a bite. Mm. Still good. Still good. Mm -hmm. Beefy. Right amount of spice. I like this. Now, I haven't had Slim Jim since um, since the pandemic, uh, when the borders closed down. Uh, so I haven't tried anything since then. And also, I don't know why I didn't see them. They're they're usually, you know, uh, at the checkout uh, at the supermarkets. I, I guess I didn't I, I didn't notice them until I saw the big old. Randy Savage image here, and I'm like, I gotta have a Slim Jim because it's been a good two years since I've had one. Still delicious, still tasty. I'm gonna enjoy this. And I saw something else that I hadn't had before. Uh, I know this is probably a more frequent thing. Uh, here in Mexico, we don't have any of the more uh, exotic flavors for soda. Uh, we, we only have your regular Coke, your Diet Coke, your Coke Zero. Uh, we don't get cherry coke. We certainly didn't get any of that um, uh, star star bit stardust. I don't remember what it's called. Uh, Coca Cola. We don't get cherry coke. We don't get anything. We only get regular coke, diet coke, or Coke Zero. And Pepsi, we only get uh, Pepsi Black, with uh, which I think I shared, which is just a higher caffeine, uh, no sugar. Thing that I, it was okay, but not did blow my mind. But when I saw the Slim Jim, I also found a bottle of Cherry Pepsi. I have not had Cherry Pepsi. Um, it's the eternal debate where what people think is better, whether Coke or Pepsi. Back in the day, here in Mexico at least, uh, Pepsi was on par with Coke. Uh, and in, and I tasted American Pepsi, and I don't know, uh, it, Coke tasted better than Pepsi. I don't know why, I can't explain it, but Mexican Pepsi uh, tasted the best. It tasted on par with Coke. Then something happened, I, I guess the formulas changed to, to make them cheaper. Uh, but both Coke and Pepsi don't taste as good as they used to. But here in Mexico, we never got... Uh, cherry Pepsi. 
In the U.S., I have seen Cherry Coke, and I want to try that one. But I came across Cherry Pepsi, so let's try Wild Cherry Pepsi. See, that's something else I miss. Uh, when you used to open a bottle, you would get a nice, satisfying to put the gas escaping. Now you just get a very wimpy, not fun of that, but cheers. This is tasty. Call me weird. And you can't, because I know I'm a weird person. I'm not a big fan of Dr. Pepper. I I've had doc I've had, had Dr. Pepper. I've tasted it and it it it's not the kind of flavor for me. I I I've given it a chance throughout the years. But Dr. Pepper just doesn't do it for me because I'm not a big <laughs> cherry fan. I don't like the taste of cherry. Um, whenever I get a Sunday or something like that, I usually take out the cherry and throw it away because I, I don't I don't like the taste of cherries. I like strawberries, uh, and I like uh, cherry syrup on hotcakes. But I know there, there's the there's something about the cherry flavor that, on certain situations, I don't like. And in soda, like in Dr Pepper, because that's what I get. I get a lot of cherry in Dr Pepper. Um, I'm not a big fan of it, but. But this, it has a uh, it has a taste of uh, cherry. And I, ha I have the taste of Pepsi. But this is good. Now I gotta try uh, Cherry Coke to compare it to this. This is something that I like and find that is very, very rare nowadays. When you see something on the label that says no artificial flavors and no artificial color. So this, at least as it's sold, is 100% natural. No artificial things. So that's good. It has beef. Has pork, has chicken, water, some soy, corn syrup. Eh, corn syrup's kind of where I, I kind of lo lose my argument because corn syrup might have some stuff. Salt, paprika, uh, some more soy protein, malt extract. Tasty. I am. I like this. I will definitely. Probably not the big one. But I definitely will try to add more. Slim Jims into my snack repartee. As I I forgot how good these are. We don't get Slim Jims in Mexico. Uh, there's like an off-brand uh, equivalent, but doesn't taste as good as I remember Slim Jim being. And after having Slim Jim, it's still tasty. I still enjoy this. And I hope there's no other plague coming out that will prevent me from crossing the border to buying more delicious Slim Jim. And as far as the Wild Cherry Pepsi, I had not seen this before. I don't know if it's a... It's probably not a new flavor. It's, it's probably something that's readily available. But I personally had not seen this flavor uh, until now and having tasted it. It's still good. It's still good. I thought maybe uh, the more I drink it, maybe the taste of the cherry would kind of like hurt me the wrong way. But no. This is the third sip and uh, still very, very likable. I like it. But again, I do have to now buy uh, Cherry Coke. Um, I hope it's still on the market and, but to try it and compare. But I like this. It is a different flavor than... Pepsi than the regular Pepsi I buy. That's good. So, 10 for the Slim Jim, 
10 for the, the, the Wild Cherry Pepsi. I can see myself rebuying that again. So yeah, that was this taste test. Next video you see me, we'll be talking about some DVDs. Uh, so please stay tuned for that. Take care, and I'll see you, in, well, you'll see me in a little bit.